Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Well today we're coming to you with another gun review. This is what they call the baby Glock or the subcompact or the Glock 26 in 9mm. Now you know those of you that know me uh, I like my Glocks. Well, I carry a Glock 27 or a Glock 23 all the time. This Glock 26 is the little brother to the 27 because the 27 is in 40 cal and this 26 is in 9 millimeter. Now this is a Gen 3 and we'll show you there's nothing in the magazine, nothing in the gun. It is unloaded for this tabletop review. Now the 26 is a nice little gun and what I really like about the 26 is you can use magazines from the 19 or the 17 in this and they will just protrude a little bit further out of the gun. But a very small print for this gun. Um, it is a little bit thicker than say the Beretta Nano or the P45 by car in 45 ACP but this is a small package that carries well some nice stippling for your finger grooves gives you a nice purchase and again you know it's a subcompact so we have that flying pinky there but for me and a bunch of other people out there that don't really matter now you can get the magazine with the extension now you got a full purchase on the gun and if that's what you like that's what you need to do is pick up a magazine with the extension now for concealability I like the flush mag uh, it just makes this gun so concealable. Like I said, I carry the 27 and it virtually disappears. But now the 26, like I said, this is a Gen 3 uh, because, you know, can't have the Gen 4 here in Massachusetts, of course. But this one is a Gen 3. Now the length of this gun is 6.29 inches in overall length. The height of it from here to here is 4.17 inches. The width is 1.18 inches. So it is a little bit thick, but it still conceals very well. Now the barrel length is only 3.46 inches. So we do have a relatively short barrel in this gun. And this gun has filled the niche of a lot of small revolver, revolvers that used to be carried by police officers as their backup gun. Um, you know, so this gun can fill that niche if you need something small to carry as a backup. And the great thing is if you carry a Glock 19 or a Glock 17, um, this Glock 26 fits right in there because the magazines from those other two firearms will fit right into this gun with absolutely no problem whatsoever. Now the weight on this firearm is 19.75 ounces unloaded. Um, so it's got a little bit of heft to it and that helps in recoil because as small as this gun is it shoots just as well and as accurate as its big brother the 19 and its bigger brother the 17. So, um, and the same with the Glock 27, I find that it shoots just as accurate and it's the same exact size as this, uh, but I find it shoots just as well and just as accurate as the 23 or the 22. Um, so, very nice gun. But, as with all Glocks, you know, we just make sure that it's unloaded, you pull the trigger, Pull back just a little, pull down on the slide release, and it pops right apart with absolutely no effort whatsoever. 
uh, and that's the beauty of the Glock field stripping them to clean them is absolutely no problem and they go back together just as easy a brand new gen 3 and the use of this gun was made possible by Pete's Gun Shop. They were kind enough to send us this gun to review, take out to the range and, and test and put it through its paces. And uh, just a very nice shooting gun. Um, and as you can see, we have the common Glock trigger here. Uh, there's no way if you're grabbing this trigger on the, the side and pulling back, you cannot pull this trigger. It has to be depressed in order for this trigger to be fully engaged. Now, one of the things that I really like about the Glocks is the reset. There it is, right there. And then a nice crisp pull. So, when we initially start to pull, and you'll see the, the travel length on this trigger. Right there is where it stops. So, from there to there, we got that little bit of take up, and then a nice clean break. And then the reset, right there, and again. So, there you have it. This is the Glock 26, also known as the Baby Glock. Pretty much all states, you're going to get a 10 plus 1. So, you're going to have 10 in your magazine, 1 in your chamber, 10 plus 1. This is a 10 plus 1. So, yes, this is a, even though this looks like it could be an 11 plus 1 magazine, in reality, it is not. It is just the finger extension. So when the magazine is in the gun, we have a nice purchase on the gun. But personally, myself, if I was gonna, you know, go that route, I would go with the Glock 19, just for the fact that um, with this magazine in, I have the same handle length as I do on a Glock 19. So for me, carrying this gun would be with this flush magazine to give me the most concealability and that way I don't have to worry about the gun being seen. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Tom Decker at Pete's Gun Shop for providing all the handguns that you'll be seeing in this upcoming series. All their contact information will be provided below and if you contact them and mention Massachusetts Prepper at the time of purchasing a gun, I'm sure there's going to be a discount in it for you. We are the Massachusetts Preppers. Will you survive what comes your way? We sure hope so. Take care, all.